all my truth seekers, welcome to the Keisha's Gossip and Truths. In this video, I will be talking about some of the best liars in history. Have you all ever heard of some of the celebrities paying for a Hollywood Walk of Fame star or their awards or to be num the number one album or to be on the Billboard charts or to have their song played? Well, I have researched some of the top celebs who has done this and you all will be so shocked. Oh, and please know this is all alleged. I never met any of these people. I deeply research all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. They say it takes a lot to be famous and you have to sacrifice so many things. Or you can use people or cheat and lie and pay your way for success. I mean, that works actually faster. As most of you already know, Drake is one of the most leading rappers of all time. But what you all should know is that there is a hidden rumor of some of his chart numbers and chart numbers in general can be manipulated. Did you know that? Did you know that the billboards and so on go by the number of streams, downloads, and views? Yes, all digital. Mm-hmm and can be manipulated oh yes put it like this it can be manipulated and hacked if you look at some of drake's streams they increase fast these numbers are impossible hey more than anyone in america is seeing oh and get this hardly anyone overseas know who drake is but he's producing these large massive numbers drake tech team always does this this manipulation is known to be done for some of the k-pop stars as well they have a tech team that can manipulate their numbers so they can win awards or I rank other artists. I say this happened with Drake because I've asked many people if they downloaded Drake's new album and most of them didn't even know he even had a new album. Drake is buying his number one spot. The white rapper Takashi69 couldn't have said it better. Take a look at this. So listen, I want the world to know that Billboard is a lot. You can buy number ones on Billboard. I want that to register in your head. You can buy number ones on Billboard. Now, let me tell you what happened. We was having an ongoing investigation just now. Silvio from Billboard, right? There's like probably five or six of them that come up with the, the charts with Nielsen and everything. Last Thursday, Ariana was stuck with you, submitted 60,000 units last second. With the investigation, we found this. They purchased Half of those things were six credit cards. When we asked where was those six credit cards linked to, Billboard said we can't disclose that information. Understand this, they bought 30,000 and so units with six credit cards. Six credit cards. Now, again, you're gonna enjoy your number one. Explain how you buy 30,000 with six credit cards, right? Now let me let me explain to you something. They, they don't want Billboard doesn't want no one to know this. Now I understand why Jay Z and Nicki Minaj say Billboard like we used to look up to number one. I mean to Billboard, but now it's like we know you can. It's all manipulated, right? It's all fabricated. You can buy number ones. This is what these artists do, right? And it's not fair. I want you to see this. Gooba streamed fifty million streams. And, and this is what they're counting only. 50 million streams, right? They only counted, look what Billboard counts. They only counted 31 million. Billboard illegally disqualified 20 million streams so it can drop down and the people who bought the number one, which was stuck with you, can go to number one. Look at this. 31 million, which places us at 38 points when in fifth place you were stuck at 32 points six credit cards buys you 36 credit listen you can buy number ones on billboard i'm letting you know that we just did a whole investigation so you see this can be done hollywood stars doesn't have to earn 
a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. They can just merely pay a $30,000 bill to have a built and have a ceremony and that's it. That's all it takes. So that means that some of the ones aside for some of the A-listers like Julia Roberts, Clint Eastwood, Denzel Washington, Al Pacino, and so on, they don't have a star. They'd rather be given a star, not buy it or have a PR team set the whole team up or something like that. To sum it up, getting back to Drake, he had one of his teams, this is all alleged, manipulate the numbers so that he can outbeat his long rival and idol, Kanye West, who got his numbers the old-fashioned way, you know, it was good hard work and promotion. It was rumored that this is why he was nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you all think about that below. You think um, Drake manipulated his numbers? Hmm? Now, I'm sure many of you should know that Taylor Swift is allegedly one of the most famous country pop artists. But if you ask people overseas, or many places in America, they don't even know who Taylor Swift is. But she produces numbers that are so massive and unrealistic. You see, there's only one of few artists, one in particular, Beyonce, others such as the Kardashians, believe it or not, they are known worldwide. Not Taylor Swift. She is known in some parts of the world, don't get me wrong, but not so much to accumulate these kinds of numbers. I'm not saying no one knows her in other parts of the world. I'm sure they do. But to get these numbers, you have to be like a BTS or Beyonce, Michael or Janet Jackson and so on. Not New Age Taylor Swift. I mean, look at her numbers. Because normal streaming numbers are 300,000 on some occasions, maybe a million in a week in terms of streams and downloads. But this was back then. Now these numbers are questionable. But Taylor suddenly started having spikes in her numbers and it was reported that she sold a million albums in one week because they can't be they can't be manipulated, especially considering both Drake and Taylor Swift released their albums on the Republic labels, whom last year partnered up with JYP Entertainment, which is a South Korean multinational entertainment and record label. Oh yes. Oh, let's not forget that this record label do manage a Korean group called Twice. Not to mention they have many computer techs on their team. I'm not racially profiling, but Korea music execs are known to manipulate their numbers in order to receive more royalty payments and so on. Oh yes, they do this all the time with their K-pop group members. Seriously. With this said, this means that any artist under this label would have higher chance of entering in the Billboard Top 10 and receive many awards, but this will all be digital manipulation and not so real. Oh, I'm not done yet. We all know about Jay-Z and how his record sales have declined. So how is Jay-Z able to get nominated for Grammys and sell many albums in a short span of time? You see, not too long ago, the album of Jay-Z was out. Put it like this, he was kind of outed for manufacturing his numbers and streaming numbers on title. And this is actually a fact. It has been reported. It has been reported that Norwegian authorities have opened an investigation into reports that millions of title streams never happened reports Dajens, a Norwegian financial newspaper or Norway National Authority for Investigation and Prosecution of Economic and Environmental Crime is conducting an investigation after reports emerged in May 2018 and 320 million streams of Beyonce eliminating Kanye West, the life of Pablo, were fraudulent, which means the numbers that were migrated and produced weren't real, they were fake. If this is true, inflating the numbers of streams that each album received would artificially increase the royalty payments, as I stated, for each artist. Yeah. The same month that reports emerged that the fake streaming numbers, Tidal was reportedly months behind on its royalty payments to three major record labels. Mm -hmm. The streaming service has also been accused of inflating its overall subscriber numbers from 350,000 to 1 million. You see, you have to understand the subscription numbers and views on many of these artists, videos especially, the ones that are under Republic record label and under title is very questionable. Because Jay-Z is known to sell the rights to his album to Apple, he did that before, or whoever before declaring it a loss. He does this a lot with his companies. Soon as he sees his company about to fall under, he sells it and then becomes someone else's problem and you never hear it. 
about it again. When this investigation of him falsifying his streaming numbers, Jay-Z sells a huge percentage of title. Upon the death of Ali and Damon, yeah, remember that? Upon the death of Ali and Damon, and he were beefing, Jay-Z sold Rockefeller. And this goes with many of his other ventures when they start to fail. He starts them and doesn't have the academics to keep them afloat. I mean, street smarts doesn't necessarily equate to business in the corporate world. Jay-Z, yes, have street smarts, but to be in the room with highly educated corporate millionaires, killers, he wouldn't stand a chance. Neither does Beyonce. It was even reported that the tour that he tried to start, remember that? Barely sold. Take a look at it. This reminds me of what I said about Jay-Z earlier on The Truth Show. And I said that I believe that Jay-Z and Beyonce are living above their means. Let's do the math. It was just one or two years ago that it was reported, or probably more, that Jay-Z owed a lot of money because of a failed tour. You know what? Take a look at the clip. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see the clip. Take a look. Do you know, Jay took a huge loss from his 444 tour. It was told that ticket sales were really, really bad, and he only sold out a couple of venues, and he was practically giving tickets away. So that took a huge loss to their pocketbook, okay? So Some interesting reports have come out for Jay-Z's 444 tour, and it isn't looking too good. For those that don't know, Jay-Z decided to go on tour for his new album, 444, and it's being reported that he's having trouble selling tickets to his show. And people who have gone to the concert have said that the arenas aren't filling up and that it's half empty and there isn't really just a lot of people there at all. People who bought tickets early are sort of upset that they paid a premium price to go see Jay-Z, but now tickets have plummeted to $25, to $20, to $15, some as low as $6 a ticket. Because apparently Jay-Z isn't selling these tickets out at all. People aren't going to go see him. He even had to cancel a show in California just recently because the rumor is that he just couldn't sell those tickets. So Live Nation pulled the plug on that show and now he's moving forward. And there's various tweets of people saying that tickets have declined and that people aren't showing up. It's half empty at the venues. And this just isn't a good look on Jay-Z. Jay-Z is looked at as one of the legends in hip hop. So it's surprising that he can't sell tickets. But my theory on it is, is because people are expecting him just to perform the 444 album. And even though the album had an impact this year, it's still not an album that has a lot of replay value and it doesn't have that single that gets played on radio so the album can have longevity. It's just an album that sort of has shock value and then after that, not a lot of people are listening to it anymore. That's just my reasoning as to why Jay-Z isn't selling tickets. Maybe the promotion was garbage too. But does it really, really matter that Jay-Z isn't selling tickets? Because for those that don't know, Jay-Z did a 10-year contract with Live Nation again for $200 million. Forbes reported this in early May of this year that he sold his whole touring rights for $200 million for the next 10 years. So that means whenever Jay-Z tours, Live Nation gets the money. But that's a smart move if you look at it right now because Jay-Z apparently is struggling to sell tickets. Now, if Jay-Z doesn't sell tickets, it doesn't really affect Jay-Z because he already sold his touring rights for $200 million. So he's getting that $200 million regardless if he sells tickets or not. So it's up to Live Nation to recoup the money. So when you look at it, Jay-Z is very, very smart in what he did. I'm sure he knew that the 44 album wouldn't have longevity. I mean, I don't really know too many people listening to now, it. Now, as I said in that video, I predicted that from the past behaviors I predicted this from and it came true. You see, Beyonce and Jay-Z are not this richy rich couple they like to lean on. Yes, they do have money, but in recent years that money has declined after that failed tour of Jay-Z's, after the record company giving him over 100, 100 million dollars for the budget to turn out that he couldn't sell out many of his venues that left him in debt that they tried to pay back with the on the run two tour then on top of that you have their extravagant spending ways i mean beyonce acts like she's some queen of something i don't know what it is but and is above many people not hating just speaking the truth i mean the so the question is is some of these celebs record companies manipulating their streams numbers to receive royalties and do they know this or are they teams and sometimes their fans doing this on their home on their own?
Tell me what you all think below. With that said, let me know what you all think. I want to hear about all of these artists and your um, theories about this as well. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell to get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.